Boxing Ego here. If you like this video, make sure you hit the like button and also subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon on the top of your screen to get notified when the latest new content drops. One. What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. Make sure you smash the like button. Also, subscribe to the channel for the latest and greatest in boxing. If you want to become part of the gang, gang, notification gang, please hit the bell icon. Shout out to the Super Chats, channel donations, Venmo, and the Patreon family. Please believe we are working. Now, the talk of the heavyweight division is Anthony Joshua versus Deontay Wilder, right? And the link is in the description. I want to let you know, Sky Sports had an interview that they conducted because some of you guys may or may not know this. In Monte Carlo, they had the Bevo card and that was a good light heavyweight first round knockout for Bevo. He's a guy to watch. Great performance by him. Easy work. And that was the same night as Bermain Stavern versus Wilder 2 at the Barclays here in the States. Now, I just got back from Brooklyn. I covered the fight. You guys should have seen the content on the channel. And it was an emphatic performance by Deontay Wilder. And you can say whatever you want. You can say Stavern was out of shape. The fight shouldn't have happened. He was on a two-year and Whatever you want, what Wilder did was impressive because he took the only guy that has went the distance and managed to go 12 rounds. And some people thought he could even, with the inactivity, I read the comments, thought Stavern had some work for Wilder and could beat him and or at least pose trouble to him. But again, link in the description. Sky Sports did an interview with Eddie Hearn and he told us Joshua's reply here's the catch i can't play it on youtube because youtube's real strict i just got my account verified and stuff so we got to keep the account clean this is a sky sports interview and the the catch is in the u.s you cannot watch the clip even if i link you to it you can't watch it if you live in the united states which a lot of my fan base does you won't be able to watch the clip so what i did for you guys is i put it on instagram so i will link to my instagram so you could hear it verbatim from eddie hearn instead of just me paraphrasing and giving my thoughts on it because you won't be able to watch the clip i got the plug so i'm a little different but a standard u.s computer your IP address and stuff is going to register. You won't be able to watch it. But anyway, check out my Instagram at Boxing Ego. Link in the description if you want to hear it verbatim out of the horse's mouth, out of Eddie Hearn's mouth, promoter of Anthony Joshua. So he talked about Wilder's weight, which Wilder did come in light. He was like 220, basically, right? I even asked Wilder about this in the post fight press conference. I said, was that your intention to come light? And he's like, hey, it's just it's just how my body works. You know what I mean? I try to put size on and close to fight time, sometimes the weight comes off. But Eddie Hearn said he texted Anthony Joshua how light Wilder was, 220 or whatnot. And he says, in his words, Anthony Joshua replied, I'll eat him. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, everybody, you should know enough slang. Mike Tyson, I'm gonna eat his kid. I wanna eat, eat. You know what I mean? Like, he'll eat him. Like pause he's talking about like like he, he's basically too little for me I'll, he can't he can't see me you know what i mean that's what he, what i'll eat him suggest so anthony joshua it sounds like he's saying like your american heavyweight champ he's not big enough to deal with this to deal with what i got coming and the sky sports when when eddie hearn revealed that it was carl frotch and the the other dude adam when carl i mean when eddie hearn revealed Anthony Joshua's reply, the Sky Sports commentator immediately said, he's light, but he can punch. He can punch, you know what I'm saying? Because to me, with statements like this, it doesn't it doesn't look good to prolong the fight. Talking about it needs to marinate, uh, maybe in 12 months, things like that. Now, shout out to The Boxing Voice. If you watched my live stream yesterday, I talked about it. Eddie Hearn, Deontay Wilder, Tyson Fury, they all got on the podcast for The Boxing Voice. It was great. I still got to finish it, but I, I caught most of it, especially the dialogue between Hearn and Deontay Wilder. One thing he said in that in that podcast was that the fans want to hear Joshua say it. He's the champion. You a promoter. He said, De Deontay Wilder said something to the effect of like, you can't get in there and take the punches for him, right? He said, unless you hop in the ring and, and you want the work too, 
But other than that, he said the fans want to hear Joshua say this. And I agree with Wilder 1000%. You know what I mean? It's cool Eddie Hearn as a promoter spilling the beans on what Joshua said in a private text. But the thing is, I understand some people aren't trash talkers and stuff. But you got a guy like Wilder, Alabama, country boy, country power, corn fed, and he's going ham. Every time he's under a mic, he's like, Joshua, I'm coming for you. I'm coming. You know what I mean? That's some Mike Tyson shit. Really, if you think about the, the attitude and the charisma, I remember distinctly after, I think it was a Showtime knockout performance from Tyson, he was like, Lennox, I'm coming for you, sweetie. He He's no Alexander. He's no conqueror. You know what I'm saying? That's the heavyweight division. And see, this is what excites me about boxing is because the heavyweight used to be a staple division so it gets to a point it don't matter if you're a trash talker or not you're a champion you're undefeated you got someone coming for your throat they're at your neck they're at your jugular that's when you have to as a man kind of just i'm not saying you have to not be classy because i understand joshua has endorsement deals and stuff and you don't want to mess that up but you can still respond nobody's gonna get especially when wilder is really the being the antagonist i guess you could say or the villain role because he's the one like yeah 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 you know what i mean so you could respond no one's gonna take issue with that and people like wilder said on that podcast people would prefer it i mean i would prefer instead of eddie hearn telling us what joshua said i want to hear joshua say that because joshua also did an interview with uh, johnny nelson recently and he says oh the fight will happen when i have the best chance to win maybe next year maybe the year after that maybe 2020 you know what I'm saying? So if he's now saying stuff like, I'll eat you, like, I want to hear him say that. Second thing is, fuck saying it, make the fight. If statements like this are being made, why should we have to wait? The fight's made. I'll eat you while they're saying his piece and I'm coming for you. Run, 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 AJ and one face, one name. And that's Deontay, the bronze bomber Wilder. You know what I'm saying? There's nothing to talk about, really. There's nothing to build up. There's no need for a Dillian White conversation. Dillian White can fight Gerald Big Baby Miller if if um, Miller wins next week. You know what I mean? That'd be a great fight. Great fight. And then one of those guys maybe is up for a title shot after that point. You know what I'm saying? Joseph Parker or whoever. So the other thing that Eddie Hearn said, and again, check the link so you guys, because new media, you don't have to take my word for it. That's why I provide links and stuff so you guys can do your own research to, to know what I'm saying is keeping it 100. You know what I'm saying? That I'm not making this up. You guys can listen to it. The other thing Eddie Hearn said, because the Bevo fight came on in, I think they were in Monte Carlo, right? So the fight was on before New York time, before the televised Bermain Stavern 2 rematch here in the States. And Eddie Hearn says, I think Deontay Wilder will win, but the pressure is on him. The pressure is on him to look good. He has to look good in doing it. So there's a pressure for him. He's the heavyweight champion. You know what I mean? This guy went the distance. The pressure is on you. He says, now, if he goes in there and he looks good in the fight, right? If he goes in there and he looks good in the fight, then now you just increase your market value, your presence, and, and kind of put the heavyweight notice, the heavyweight division on notice, and you increased your stock for the Anthony Joshua or Joseph Parker fights because you made a statement or whatever. You had a good performance if you look good, right? So fast forward to the future, we all watched the fight and there's nothing else Wilder could have done that would have been more emphatic than what he did do other than perhaps, and I'm not I'm not really being facetious, other than killing Bermain Stavern. I mean, th there's levels to this. That's really the only other level that Wilder could have went is if he actually did what he said in, in the pre-fight interviews and killed the man because he knocked him down three times. He folded him up. A guy that went the distance. It doesn't really, in the first round, it doesn't really get more emphatic or sensational than that in boxing. What more could you do? You know what I mean? And knock his head smooth off and it rolls in the crowd. You know what I mean? There's nothing you could really do and make a bigger statement other than what you just did do. You know what I'm saying? So now it leads me to my next point. With what Eddie Hearn is saying, then why can't we make the fight next? Because you just admitted that, and you guys can go check the link in the description, you just admitted that he has to look good in doing it. And in my honest opinion, my honest assessment to you guys, I think I, without a doubt, 
was more impressed with Deontay Wilder dispatching of Bermain Stavern, his late replacement, than Anthony Joshua's performance over Carlos Tackham. Here's why. Not You guys can say whatever, Tackham. I don't even know when the last time Tackham fought is, so I can't even compare uh, Stavern's two-year activity to Tackham's when's the last time he fought. But here's the reason that I'm... Because Wilder went in and did what you were supposed to do, being a powerhouse, a power puncher. He just bombed him out, didn't get touched, and him and his girlfriend probably went to the club after. You know what I'm saying? So there's nothing more you can do. Joshua won every round versus Carlos Tackham, but I thought the stoppage was bullshit. I thought Carlos Tackham might have been able to survive 12 rounds and be the first person to break the knockout streak, just like Daniel Jacobs broke the consecutive knockout streak of Triple G. You know what I mean? I think Carlos Tackham could have at least done that. So the stoppage was real bullshit. Second of all, in the second half of the fight, I thought AJ faded. I thought he faded a bit. You know what I mean? Wilder, it never even got to that. He came out with a psh, psh, You know what I'm saying? He came out with a crispy jab, set everything up, showed power in both hands because his left, he set it up with like a one-two. You know what I mean? Showed power in both hands. And he like pulverized his man. You know what I'm saying? So to me, the walls are closing in. The stuff Eddie Hearn's saying, there's there's no reason not to make the fight at this point. You said Wilder has to impress. He has to make a statement. And another reason why I'm more impressed with the Wilder, aside from just it happening in the first round, is this is a guy you shared the ring with for 12 rounds. So they know a little bit about you. And we've seen in fights like in the past, Juan Manuel Marquez and Pacquiao, Mac Pacquiao and Marquez were always wars because they knew little quirks and stuff. And there was distances of time in between each fight. But when you share the ring with someone, you become more familiar with them. So Stavern, he could have learned something from the first fight and maybe executed it. But he didn't get the opportunity to do any of that because Wilder came out so guns blazing. So again, the walls are closing in on this Wilder-Joshua fight. It's, it's being proven more and more as time goes on that the people are ready for it now. I mean, even Eddie Hearn's stuff he's saying is proving my point. He's saying the social media is making the fights happen quicker. The fans have more of a voice. He said Wilder has to look good, which he did do. He's saying people want the fight. Joshua wants to fight. Joshua will eat him. Okay, let's see it. I want to see it. And props to the winner, either Joshua or Wilder, period. New media. Let me know what you guys think. Watch the link in the description so you guys can corroborate everything I just said. And then leave your comments in the comment section. Make sure you smash the like button as always. Hate, comment, and subscribe. Till next video is Ego signing off. So if you enjoyed this video and want more content like this on the channel, you can show your appreciation by going to the PayPal donate button or the YouTube support button. And you can donate any amount that you feel is equivalent to the value of this video. Much more to come. Thank you guys for your support. Boxing Ego, the future of boxing.